Alright, today we're checking out this Axial FCX24 we got from Amazon. I just wanted to do a quick video of me unboxing this to show you what exactly is inside of this box and what do you get when you're buying this. Super excited about this one and uh, we'll go ahead and I'll get this open. I cut the sealed uh, tape here on the sides already. Open this thing up. Here we have the Jeep, the SCX24 Jeep on the inside. It's got a zip tie holding it in. Looks like we got an instruction manual, um, some Allen wrenches and spare parts and batteries in there. Here we have the, the controller for the transmitter. We've got all our trim adjustments up there. We got a steering reverse switch, a throttle reverse, a binding button on off, a steering trim, throttle trim, and then it looks like we got another steering trim, probably just for how much of an angle you want. And the top of it's like a plastic carbon fiber. It's got a really nice look. It's all plastic. It takes four double A's that it comes with. It's got a good, nice quality feel to it. Steering as well. We got the charger. As you can see, it's just uh, looks like a three prong down there, and then USB on the other end. Got the cool sticker. Instruction manual's got nice colored. Front to it, it's always nice. Looks like we got a spare drive shaft and a spare pin inside of the package. Got our batteries. It's got nice soft suspension. Uh, the shocks are not oil filled. Uh, right from the factory. It's got some good articulation. And it's got the middle grapplers, which is licensed tire. They're super soft. They're actually really nice. I like those. Looks like they're glued on, so that's always a good thing. We got the one body pin up front here. Inside here we got our little battery. Plug in right here on top of this receiver uh, and transmitter or receiver and ESC combo. You can see there's spots on the rear here, so if you decide to go with a different body, you already got your mounting holes. It's got a nice steel frame on it. We got the little axle mounted steering servo up in the front. I like how rigid, nice and rigid the frame is too. And we also got other, a bunch of other holes for lots of different adjustments. Frame's pretty solid. I mean, there is some twist, but it's small. Uh, really like the body, like the detail on it. The inside's colored. It's got clear, uh, clear windows. But I'll go ahead and I'll turn this on, and uh, we'll check it out. But this is definitely a good product if you're looking for a micro RC crawler and one of the best that you, there's like an unlimited amount of aftermarket parts and stuff you can do with it. Uh, I definitely recommend this one. 
especially for like a beginner too, it's definitely a good car. You can use it indoors and uh, you can play with it as well. But uh, 